Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is the heat pump defrost temperature sensor. All right, so there's one right here. There's one right here. We've got two of them. Um, this is actually mounted on the outdoor fins, and it's used in combination with a timer. All right, for cumulative heat pump runtime. So when heat pumps are needed, you know, when when we're running them for heat, it's typically uh, going to be anywhere from say, you know, 55 degrees outside, 40 degrees, you know, and obviously it could be lower than that, uh, 30 degrees, 20 degrees. But anytime that the outdoor heat pumps really at uh, 40 degrees outside, uh, running in 40 degree weather, uh, the outdoor fins have to be much lower in order to absorb heat from the outside air in order to absorb it into the refrigerator and move it to the inside. So depending on what time timer you have this set at, either on this particular uh, defrost control board, you have it set for either 30, 50, or 90 minutes. So in combination with that, you have a defrost temp sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the actual uh, operation of this because basically when this is open for this particular uh, defrost sensor, when this is open, that means that the outdoor fins are melted. When it's closed, that means that the outdoor fins are frozen. So if you're suspecting that this is a problem, then you really need to take a look at the actual sensor itself. So this sensor right here is a Sensata, Sensata, whatever way you want to say it, uh, clicks on heat pump defrost sensor. All right, the model number is 3NT01L, and L means it opens on rise. So, so this is not a uh, high resistance to low resistance sensor. This is either an open or closed sensor. Single pole, single throw. So it opens on rise. It's also on here, it's actually stamped on the copper part right here. It says L80-50. And that means that it's a limit switch. It opens at 80 degrees Fahrenheit and it closes with a differential of 50 degrees. So 80 minus 50, that's 30 degrees. And that right there is when it, uh, is when it closes. So once any time that this outdoor coil is 30 degrees or below, it's going to close these connections. And that's what this is doing right now. All right, it's doing this right now, it's closed. All right, but you might be asking yourself, why is it closed when the temperature in the room right now is actually 48.7 degrees? So it's a little cold right now, we're out in the garage, uh, but uh, it's, not, it's not open, it's closed. You gotta remember, it's a, it, it ended up closing at 30 degrees, all right, but it never got a chance it never got a chance to open back up at 80 degrees. So this, this sensor right here will not open until it gets to 80 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and, and check that real quick. All right, as you can see, it's uh, 47 degrees, roughly where we're at. And we have a closed electrical circuit on that sensor right there. Now I'm gonna heat it up with a heat gun and uh, then it's gonna go ahead and open up. So here we go. I kept that heat gun back just so I didn't overheat it, uh, but uh, you saw the temperature went up to somewhere around 130 degrees or so in that general area. It took a little while for the uh, copper right here to pick up the heat, uh, but now that the sensor on the inside here has sensed that it went above 80 degrees, it, the sensor has now opened the electrical circuit. So uh, now it's now it's open, and what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and put this into a freezer, which is freezers at 10 degrees roughly, uh, 5, 10 degrees. All right, so right now on this defrost temp sensor, we have OL. So the switch right now is broken, and it's 51 degrees where we're located at, 
We're going to go ahead and put the temp sensor and the defrost sensor into the freezer and see what we got. So you have your temperature dropping and we're going to see how long it's going to take. It's about 5 degrees, 5 to 10 degrees inside. We're going to see how long it's going to take and see if the sensor is going to close. It should close on a temperature differential of 50. All right? It opened at 80 degrees and it's going to close when it's 80 minus 50, which is 30 degrees. Of course, it's going to take a little time for the, the copper on the end of that defrost sensor to absorb um, the actual temperature within the box. All right, so there it went. It, it clicked over. Remember that we were just putting a heat gun on this just a few minutes ago. Uh, so it, it is now closed. It's 4.2 degrees inside this chest freezer. And uh, that's that operation. It had to drop 50 degrees uh, on that on that temp sensor. So, All right, and this is how it unclips, just like that. So you see all that copper that's on there. This is where it's stamped, right? That's where we're getting those numbers from. Right? And right here on the defrost board. You have power coming out at R and coming back in at DFT. Alright, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.